Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. Time for some Madden 20 and the face of the franchise with Flint Beastwood. Spoiler alert, got drafted by the Denver Broncos. So for the foreseeable future, this is the team that I will be playing as. Obviously things like trades, free agency, all that type of stuff that will probably come down the road. Uh, we'll mix that up and might be playing for a different team at some point. Anyway, don't want to get too far of our, uh, ahead of ourselves here. So what I'm going to be doing is playing through the uh, first little bit of preseason. The way that I have uh, discovered that this works is week one, you play one quarter, week two, two quarters, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and combine those into uh, just one episode, or at least weeks one and two. I mean, when I get three quarters in there, and I've extended the time uh, to play for this particular game mode. I, usually the quarters I do like eight minutes uh, to try and keep the scores somewhat realistic. But in this, I've extended it out to 10 minutes because you don't play as the defense in the NFL mode. I mean, I, I was surprised in the college football side. Yes, you did play defense as well. But in uh, the NFL section of it, you don't. Only offense. So I can simulate all of that and not have to worry about it, which, oh, thank you, from an editing standpoint, that it cuts out half the game. All right, so we're going to start this off here. First play of the NFL for Flint Beastwood. Nice, decent pass. I'm probably going to get a lot of flack from people for the way that I'm going to play this uh, because this is all about Flint Beastwood. It is going to be nonstop passing with the exception of a running play every now and then. When it makes the most sense. Gosh, what an awesome catch right there. Huge pickup that accomplishes absolutely everything that I needed to do for the first quarter. You get different goals, all that stuff. Yeah, got to complete all that one pass. Quick inside slant. There is the catch for the touchdown. Cool. Well, I guess there was one more. I had to get a, a passing touchdown. Okay, now I think I've completed everything. Um, but as I was saying, you know, I'm going to rush when it makes sense. You know, if it's like third and one or something like that, I'm not necessarily going to drop back and pass higher percentage, com um, conversion rate. It's going to be through running the ball in that case. Plus with as much passing as I do, that'll probably open it up for a good run. So like here, just kind of testing it out to just get smashed. Lindsay, come on, man. All right, third and nine after an incomplete pass. There we go. Just a quick cut up the middle. Nice pickup after the catch. I'm almost 200 yards. I'm obviously going to get it here. Or at least I should be able to before I get, you know, pulled out here. Ah, dang it. it almost looks like he went completely untouched. So that's going to be a pretty considerable loss right there. Let's try this again. Okay, trying to find a good play. That's why I've only got just a few seconds left on the clock. Uh, I could have gone that way. I could have gone a Y. Had a couple options right there as they uh, crossed right in the middle of the field. 109 yards now. Broke the century mark in just one quarter. We still got 315 left to go. See what I can do to complete this try. That's not going to be enough to get the first down. Shy by just three yards. I have no idea what is going on right here. This, this camera's all messed up. I have the ability to control just random throw. So <laughs> lucky, except he fumbled. Okay, maybe not quite so lucky, but that has got to be one of the first Madden glitches that I have experienced so far. All right, end of the game. You can see we're not happy. We lost this one. Honestly, you can't put it on me. You know, I was the one who was racking up all the passing yards, got the touchdown. Sure, we had that fumble, but not on me. Okay, so let's go to game number two. Just a quick jump into it. Really nothing too special. So for this particular game, we're going up against the 49ers, which if you're a 49ers fan, don't forget we got the franchise every Sunday where I will be posting a game from that series. Cool. So it's like my franchise team against my face of the franchise team. We're just getting it all in there. Okay, 
first time I'm going to be playing at home too. So for this one, I have two quarters of play that I'll be able to get underneath my belt. Should not be a problem. Not going to do really anything different than what you saw in the last episode. Just a lot of passing. Uh, try and going with some short high percentage passes as I'm continuing to increase my attributes. It's going to be those types of passes that are going to do the most amount of good. Yes, I had one amazing long pass in the last game, but I can't expect that that is going to be the norm until I get those experience points and start spending on it, uh, which I don't even know if I'm going to do too much from the sense of a deep pass uh, because Flint Beastwood is a scrambler. I'm going to be going with that option so that way throwing on the run those short medium passes get the uh, that accuracy up and i think i'll be good i mean i'm going to try and run out of the pocket too to see what i can pick up on the ground that for me i think it's going to be one of the more uh, fun aspects of this and i think it'll also be one of the more challenging ones too I'll, I'll have to figure out a little bit more what are some of the best strategies when you're just trying to to run there we go. Nice pickup. I had no running backs on that one too, so it was obvious that it was going to be a passing play since I had five wide. Okay, I got to get 75 passing yards. I don't know if you caught that at the bottom, but that is what the goal is for this one. And shouldn't be a problem. Dude, got demolished right there. But we're going down the field pretty well. Here we are, second and 10. Gosh. I should have thrown it to Y a lot quicker. Man, he was open. That would have gotten me a uh, first down right there. Now I'm looking at third and 22. I don't think I have too much here, except I'm going to go to B. Oh, he had him beat by like a half step. That lob pass worked. I thought there was going to be more air underneath it. That definitely wasn't the case. So I'm at the one. And again, quick slant to the inside. Does the job. Gosh. I'll have to work on, on seeing what celebrations I've got and everything. I've never been, like, the crazy person when it comes to celebrations. Like, I remember the days of, like, NBA 2K. You had some amazing ones you could choose from. I was really surprised with MLB The Show 19 that they have some crazy celebrations here, too. Or in that game as well. But I'll, I'll try and keep it normal, guys. Don't don't worry. See, there I go. Just handing the ball off, and that was a good pickup. Did a different camera angle on that one, too. I'm wondering if I should mix it up. So that way when I'm passing, you know, I got this, this uh, camera angle that's a little bit higher. Allows me to see downfield a little bit more, but I'm running. I have it up close, and it follows the uh, running back as well. Game's tied at seven. We'll hand it off again since it worked so well before. Maybe my thinking on rushing the ball may change a little bit if you know this becomes pretty consistent or if what I'm expecting to happen. The computer just figures out exactly how much I'm going to be passing and then it starts adjusting against that. So you see like a, a larger increase in the amount of interceptions that I'm throwing or incomplete passes. Whatever. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. There we go. Go to Y this time. Less than two minutes left to go. You can see 150, now 130 in the first quarter. Not in any rush right now because, remember, I've got the two quarters of play this time rather than the one running the ball. Okay, third and nine now for us. I'm going to be looking for my halfback for just that reason. First down. I was hoping he was going to cut back to the left. He had a pretty big opening right there. But I don't know how quickly the computer will stop the run. I, To be honest, I don't even know if it was possible at all. Second and goal. Gosh, on the blitz. Getting the throw off just in time. That could not have been better timed than that throw right there. I don't know if you'll see it. Yeah, just absolutely destroyed by two 49ers thank you Sanders I appreciate it okay so we're still doing pretty good haven't turned the ball over yet um, so we are up 14 to 7 now okay gonna change it up here since the the run didn't look like it was gonna work too well 
Sweet. As a fallback, I had another receiver open too. If that didn't unfold. I've got to do, I feel like, a little bit better with checking the progression. I know I have one wide receiver at the beginning of each play that I'm really looking to have them open up. Uh, not always, obviously, are they in a position to, to make the catch. And so going to the next receiver rather than waiting for something to materialize is something, again, I know I have a problem with. I'll have to get better at it. Because like on this one, I'm, I'm looking at X first. Don't see good opportunity. So then I go to the running back. So good pickup there. Honestly, 210 yards. Not bad for this one. See, this is why I think I have a pretty strong chance at breaking the, the single season passing record. Okay, come on. Nice. Get the slide. I thought there was going to be a better block for me. And here's what I'm talking about. Third and one, going to run the ball. Just hand it off. Picks up, what, three? Something like that. So first down, first and ten. Essentially, I'm going to consider this first and goal. All right, good catch. Makes the, makes the catch in traffic. I mean, since he was taken down basically right away. Felt like I had to thread the needle right there. Okay, looking at how they're set up, this is not going to be easy. There we go. I thought it was going to be like a heavy blitz, and that worked out well. The timing, once again, absolutely solid on that one. So we're looking at 21 to 7 after the extra point is good. And we've still got a lot of time in the second quarter. We may see one more drive for Flint Beastwood. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Yep, 254. Question is... How quickly do I try and score? I'm going to try and let the clock run here for a little bit. Even if I end up getting a field goal and that's it, I'll consider this drive successful. But obviously, I'll, I'll be moving the ball down the field trying to get a touchdown here. That's going to bring us to the two-minute warning. And then we'll continue on from there. All right, look at what I got set up here. What I'm going up against defensively. Again, this is going to be just look to the middle. They were, oh, man, did we lose the fumble? I think we lost the fumble. Yep. That's two games in a row that we've had a fumble like that. Hopefully, my guys can hold on to the ball a little bit better, but that's all right. Not too much that I can do here, and I think, oh, no, we get one more. 34 seconds left. Not going to try and put anything together. You can see the 49ers got a quick touchdown right there. So it's 21-14. Freeman with a good pickup, and that is going to be the end of the half. And also, as we kind of show the statistics here on what's happened in the first half, this will also be the end of the game for Flint Beastwood since we're just going to go ahead and simulate through it. So one takeaway, but other than that, Everything else is completely in our favor. And that dude's just locked right there. But we do end up getting the win here. So we are one and one on the season. I'll post more of this, of course, later on where we'll do week three. Since that'll be three quarters, it'll be the same length as this one. And then we'll go to quarter uh, or week four and same thing. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the bell icon. You guys know the drill. Uh, also, like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Join the Dunbar Snack Bar Discord. And there's also Patreon below if you want to help me grow this channel. You guys' support there is huge. Anyway, thanks again for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a good one.